It's almost Super Bowl time. Can you just smell in the air? Nick Walters here for this NFC Championship edition of NFL Game Recap. The Panthers hosted the Cardinals tonight with the NFC title on the line. Oh, and what else? A shot at taking a trip to Northern California and playing Peyton Manning's Broncos in the Super Bowl. Who's it going to be? Will it be Cam dabbing his way to the title? Or will Larry Fitzgerald get the chance to end his career in style? Let's get right to the action and figure out. Here he comes, Cam Newton. And there's Carson Palmer. I think everyone's ready for this game, especially Panthers owner Jerry Richards and banging that drum. It's time, Panthers Cardinals. Let's get it started in the first quarter with Ted Ginn Jr. taking the punt return up the middle and through defenders and into Cardinal territory. And only five plays later, it's a faked read option reverse play for Carolina. Ted Ginn Jr. again wrapping around the left side, cutting back at the 15, opposite direction. Nobody's going to touch him. Ted Ginn Jr. strolls over the goal line for the score. A kid gets a football. They're all smiles in Charlotte, and it's raining touchdowns in Camland. Oh, and there's plenty more where that came from. Next drive for the Panthers, and Cam launches a pass to Philly Brown. He shakes off Rashad Johnson, and he is off. Nobody a mile away. Nobody's catching him, and he's taking it all the way for six. 86-yarder, longest play in playoff history for Carolina as they go up 17-zip on the cards. Right when things looked bleakest for Arizona, it got worse. Palmer in the pocket, and he's pummeled and fumbles. Panthers ball just like that. Five minutes left in the half when Patrick Peterson botches the punt return. Ball on the ground. Panthers ball. Turnovers keep on coming for this home team. And now two plays later, it's Jonathan Stewart taking it up in between the tackles, through red jerseys, and to the two-yard line. This Panthers offense is giving this defense fits with their running and passing threats. Next up on the goal line, Cam Newton goes into super cam mode, leaping over the pile of bodies, and he has it. Ball crosses the goal line, and it's a bang-bang quarterback draw for a touchdown. We saw it coming. They saw it coming, but that's just too hard to stop. After the Panthers recovered a fumble on the ensuing drive, Cam throws a dart, but it's picked. Patrick Peterson is taking it down the sideline with a vengeance, trying to find room, and Philly Brown finally catches up and makes the huge tackle. That would set up possibly the biggest play of the game, complete momentum stopper. Palmer drops back, lofts it up to John Brown in the end zone, but Kurt Coleman leaps up and snags it. The acrobatic falling catch takes the ball away from the Arizona offense and once again prevents them from making a comeback effort. Now into the second half, scores 27-7. Cam Newton has in the pocket, flicks it over outstretched arms to Ted Ginn on the sideline. And he finds his way into Arizona territory to set up Cam on the third and ten, taking it himself around his right side, meets Chris Clemens, but it doesn't matter. Cam Newton, a quarterback, just bulldozing over defenders. Sheer heart, determination, will, and this solid defense is bleeding. And here we go again. Cam makes his way past the Cardinals and hops up, over, and into the end zone unscathed. It's just not fair. All six feet, five inches, and 245 pounds of him dabbing his way into the hearts of Carolinians. And to cap off the night, Luke Hinkley has the pick, and he's gone. Complete embarrassment. Call it a night. It's over. Panthers win the NFC. They are Super Bowl bound. Who would have thunk it? Well, 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 that was really close, was it? The Cardinals get sent back to the desert empty-handed, while the Panthers advance to the greatest stage in all the history of sports, the Super Bowl. The likely MVP candidate, the youngster, the star, Cam Newton, gonna face up against the Canton-bound legend, the father of time, one of the best ever, Peyton Manning. What a treat we have for Super Bowl 50. Those two elite defenses are going to clash harder than what we've ever seen in recent Super Bowl history. It is going to be an outstanding game to watch, or at least better than this pathetic game of Panthers Cardinals. Just tune in February 7th, Super Bowl 50, Santa Clara, California. I'm already pumped up and you should be too. Until then, for Quench Sports, this is Nick Walters, Quench on.